Well, as promised, I told you I was going to rebuild this battery box. This is like a part two to that navigational lighting for the boat. So I made some improvements. And I, of course, we added drink holders and rod holders. And I built a battery gauge here. Now it's pretty sunny. I don't know, but I don't want, I don't want, I don't know what's going to be show up or not. Let's try it. I guess you can see it. Yeah, there. You can see it. 13 volts. I got two bars of health. See, I don't want to run all the time, so I built a switch. And of course, the light switch is over there for the navigational lights. Got a new strap that's easier to put on. Um, I got the battery charger, the little battery tender over there, trickle charger. Got that wired in. So I never had to take this cover off anymore. And the biggest thing is this trolling motor, which always was a pain to take it off from the inside of the box. So now I got this end for it right here. Let's fo focus on it, stupid focus. And then it plugs in right there. So now we take the boat out of the water. It's always dangerous because if someone bumps the handle and you got to worry about that prop down there spinning. So now we just keep it disconnected and we hook it up. Now I don't know how I'm going to show it because it's just me here, but it plugs in real nice. And when I when it locks in, the cover locks it in. And uh, there's a little see a little pin in there. I get my hand to focus here. There, and it's key to go in one way. And we come over here, come over here. I'll try not to wiggle too much. See, I got everything. This is hooked up so it's not to cover off. But the biggest improvement is this setup. See these connectors here? I used, I had spare ones, and I hooked them up, and they're inside here. All It's all watertight, and it comes up and controls these lightings. And I attach this better because it's always getting loose on me. So a few little improvements, you know. So that'll help out. And of course, this is we moved the boat temporarily here while my son is weed eating. Um, and then we'll put this over, push it back over here, over there, and then um, and then we'll um, um, cover it up again with that thing. It'll be t totally safe from rainwater. And uh, so that's it. That's done. Now I never had to take the box, and it's so much nicer having. A gauge a gauge on here to show um, the health of the battery especially when you're going across a lake that's good to know that so it makes it nice and another thing we added too of course I used all these waterproof and shrink tubing connections here when I connected them together down there you see that rudder it's an add-on it's about 30 bucks. It's really built. But the biggest thing with, I have with this thing is when we're going across, especially when it's windy, that the, the, the unit wanders all over. So I'm hoping by using this, uh, I gotta bring the motor down, you know, a little, I got it up higher right now, but gotta lower it down so it goes to the water further, down a little deeper. Cause it's gotta be in the water to work. So I'm hoping that that will stabilize, make it easier for me to steer straight ahead. I heard good things about it. I'll give all links to everything in the, that I bought and did this to in the, the below the video. And uh, this box is about 60, 70 bucks. They have all kinds of USB jacks and stuff on it, which I didn't want. I figured I'm going to build my own. So I don't remember all the prices offhand, but I will do all that in the in the video. Below the video. So there you go. That's it. Everything's quick connects, and they got these nice little covers to keep when I'm not when I'm not using them. Keep these things unplugged, and then when I take the battery in for the winter, everything stays together, and everything I don't I never have to take the cover off because it's just annoying to do that, especially when you're trying to get in the water. So I, uh, if you're interested in building something like this, you can save yourself some money. It's sort of fun doing it. It's aggravating to search out all these parts. It took me forever to find all the parts. And um, um, I'll leave all the links to all the parts that I use. And you decide if you'd want to build one. At least it'll be easier for you to find all these parts. Because that took the longest looking for all these little nooks and cranny things. And um, 
Um, I guess I could show you the underside of the cover. I, I will. Little special hookups. You may not want all these connections on here, but this is the bare minimum that I want and need. Okay. This is how nice this comes apart. Just like that. And then this folds back. I got a little bit of slack. A little bit of slack here. And the only thing that's short is this one lead, but I wanted it short because I don't want all that crap. And then I hope you can see inside here of all the we got the circuit breaker over there, the 50 amp. You got the lights and the uh, um, lights are the five amp, five amp uh, uh, fuse, the um, the switches and stuff, and that gauge five amp fuse, and then the, the navigation lights on a seven amp fuse, and of course the chargers on a seven and a half amp fuse. So there's all the connections and the wiring and all the stuff I got. And that's that little incentive. There's that little like a bus bar. I had one of them laying around. They work out pretty good tying wires together. So pretty nice. And I got uh, silicone dielectric grease on all the connections to sort of help out. And there, there, that's it. And it wasn't fun doing it. I mean, it was fun, but it wasn't fun doing some of the stuff. Like finding the parts and the bolts and the connections. But, okay. And there's the trolling motor plugged in. Right there, see it locks in real nice. And then you just turn the handle here, prop should run. And there you go. And then when we get to the, this will be disconnected because it's always a danger. Before I had to lift this cover, roost some wing nuts to get that thing loose. Now all I do is, when I have this thing disconnected, and it's a waterproof cover. And now, if someone bumps it, they're not gonna get hurt by the prop. And so it's really easy, nice, simple is what I like. And that's it. That's it. It's about almost 100 degrees out today, so it is miserable. So I didn't show the um, uh, doing the um, uh, inside the box, all the little connections and stuff, because you know more likely if you do it, you could do it your way. And uh, it's my way is my way, and it was just a pain in the butt. I, I would have stopped and I would have had about a thousand hours of video making it. It took about a total probably about four or five hours to build the box from scratch. And uh, that, would that would include maybe a little bit of time looking online for the parts. So I didn't film that um, because um, um, it just, it's just, it's meaningless. Because unless you're going to copy exactly what I do, you may not want a battery gauge or that quick connect for the trolling motor. So it would just be a waste of time. But it's it's real simple doing the, the the work if you're handy with basic electrical stuff, and uh, don't be be sure to put fuses in line. That's a real real important. Well, that's it. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching.